what is needed actually, what I think is needed is a consensus amongst all of us that we act as far as we can ethically and in the best interest of patients, whatever that might mean. Nita, do you want to respond? Sure, yeah. I, I, I also agree we should act ethically, and the most ethical to thing to do in circumstances where the only way to prevent a particular type of disease where we readily have a technology available that people will avail themselves of, either in this country or another one, is to give the green light to proceed. The ethical way to proceed is to study a technology, to have an open public debate about a technology, to have scientific valid, scientifically valid studies that are allowed to proceed. This technology is proceeding. This technology can save lives. It has saved lives. We would be taking a drastic step backwards. Sheldon Krimsky. We, uh, Sharon was mentioned. I don't know her personally. And I'm so happy that she had a successful pregnancy. But she had choices. One of her choices uh, was to adopt someone else's egg and have a baby. Um, she, it wouldn't be her DNA, but it would be somebody else's DNA. Uh, another choice would be for her to adopt a child, which you know uh, is certainly a desirable thing to do in a world where there's children who need adoption. What is the, um, the urgency of people to have their DNA in their child? In fact, most of the things that our children get do not get from our DNA. They get from all the enhancement that we give them. So there's this obsession that my child has to have my DNA. She did have some other choices. The risks that she took were real. Lee Silver. Yeah. Um, well, Professor um, Krimsky and I both have children here in the audience, so we... I want to point out also that you two live in the same apartment building. We, we live in the same building. <laughs> And uh, that sometimes you meet up for coffee downstairs we, in the we, shop we, and you have this out. We, we have coffee at Jack's, the best coffee in the city. Um, <laughs> and I have no conflict there. Um, and we both have children in the audience, so, so we've used our ability to reproduce to have our children, who I am sure that you love your children as much as I, I love up mine. I don't think we should discriminate against those people who, for whatever reason, are unable to reproduce and say, well, they don't have the ability, therefore they should be adopting or solving other uh, societal problems. Um, I don't think that's fair because we don't ask ourselves to adopt, although a very, very few people do. So. Um, I question the, the alternative here. 